Bobby. And I'm Cody. Welcome to our 4th of July episode. Tonight for 4th of July, we are doing Michter's American Whiskey Unblended. Um, the reason why we are doing this one is this whiskey does have some ties back to the Revolutionary War and even prior back to 1753. We actually had a couple other bottles we really wanted to do, but there was one instance I couldn't get the bottle here in Arkansas, the other instance Cody couldn't get the bottle in California. Um, and honestly, this one we were... We've been wanting to do of, this one. Yeah, we've wanted to do it for a while and yeah. <clears throat> we were just like, oh, let's just do this one. It's an American whiskey, it'd be good. And once we dove into some of this history, it became the perfect choice for 4th of July. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to kind of dive into a little bit of the history on this company and how it has its ties to the Revolutionary War. So originally, this whiskey was known as uh, Schinks and then later uh, Bombergers, the whiskey company, which ultimately became known as Mitchell or Michter's. Um, this was founded by John Schenck, a Swiss uh, Mennonite farmer uh, in Schaefertown, Pennsylvania in 1753. Um, Schenck produced whiskey from rye grain, a favorite local crop in Pennsylvania Blue Mountain Valley where the distillery was located. So according to Pennsylvania historical lore, uh, com commemor commemorated uh, by the Lebanon Valley Coin Club in 1978, the, this particular rye whiskey was so valued that when the Revolutionary War broke out, General George Washington visited the distillery and purchased whiskey to fortify his men as they hunkered down in their camp through the long, brutal winter at Valley Forge. Over 200 years later, Michter's Pennsylvania management would say Michter's was the whiskey that warned Amer the American Revolution. So with that being said, the fact that you know, our first president, George Washington, you know, got this whiskey for his men and, you know, it's probably a morale boost and, you yeah. know, to, you know, help honestly keep warm through the winters back <laughs> then, which I could only imagine was just brutal. We, yeah. get, we have the luxury of nice heated houses and they yep. were probably hunkered around a little fire. tiny fire sipping on whiskey together so yeah it's yeah. pretty cool and i'm really excited even though i wanted to do this whiskey prior and cody wanted to do it prior we just never got around to it now we're doing it it just i think this is the perfect whiskey for fourth of july yeah and uh you know it's it's just uh an american whiskey which is cool too um and so I'll kind of dive into some of the the info about the bottle. <clears throat> it's a uh, you know a it's a 40 41.7% alcohol. Uh so it's kind of on the lower end that we've done kind of I think yes. what what was the lowest we I think that is the lowest were It is. Yeah. So, so. kind of um uh, a lower percentage well, than we, what we've, we've done. done crown we haven't released that episode yeah uh, so yeah that one's 40 percent. so yeah plus still, <clears> so this one yeah so this bottle is uh 45 to 50 dollar bottle with tax and everything is what i was yeah. paying about 50 bucks uh with tax for this one yeah i was uh 42.99 so after tax it was about 46 47 dollars yeah, so I, I noticed too, like there's not much wiggle room with the Michter pricing. They don't have, there's some of the whiskeys you can find them out there and there's like kind of like this gap. Yeah, uh, between their whiskeys. Yeah, like price ranges like we yeah. found between states, but this whiskey's real tight on their pricing. It's like within a few dollars, they're really oh yeah um, oh. close. Even but, looking at the others, like the rye and the Kentucky small batch, they're all forty two ninety nine around here, so yeah, um, they're all the same price, even going in between the different actual whiskeys. Yeah, and this is another Louisville, you know, Kentucky whiskey, you know, out of Louisville, Kentucky, and um, you know, uh, 
a little bit about the the bottle the bottle itself it's got so i'll read from the uh what they kind of the details of the bottle but the reason the reason this whiskey is called american whiskey as opposed to bourbon is because of the barrel bourbon must be aged in new charred white oak barrels and this uh this uh barrel is aged in in bottle or uh, barrels that have been previously used and aged in bourbon or or bourbon smoked uh, as the brand likes to say the word unblended re refines or refers to the fact that that is a uh, more natural grain spirit kind of that's what yeah yeah so pretty pretty cool i like that actually mm -hmm. that it's not just a brand new barrel it's yeah. been used before um yeah well it, they use their bourbon barrel i imagine yeah and they throw this whiskey in there and you know that that's that's nice because uh Irish whiskeys and scotches, they will get barrels from the United States, like American whiskey barrels, bourbon barrels, whatever, and use those barrels for their... Their, glasses. yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's actually pretty cool that America, there's an American whiskey that does that. And I'm sure there's others, but um, it's, you know, for makers or makers to do this. So. Yeah, it's good that they're not wasting, um, you know, those barrels. They're reusing them. So that's kind of yeah. nice too. Exactly. Um, um, so with all that being said, so you guys know, this will be starting a new category. It is uh, 3.2, which is right below the Legion category and then uh, High West American Prairie, which those two were at 3.3. Um, we also tonight, so you know, as usual, we're going to be reviewing it in four different ways. We got, we're going to do it neat on the rocks, old fashioned. And then the drink tonight that we chose is called, I carried a watermelon. Um, it's a watermelon kind of summery drink. And the reason why we went with that one was because um, that was the only cocktail that I could find that um, Michter's, you know, represented with the American whiskey. Yeah, with All their other whiskey. drinks were rye or the bourbon. So I figured I'd just stick to what they had as their for their American whiskey. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So like like you said, we'll be you know reviewing this the four different ways and uh, on a scale of uh, zero to five. So yep. the the tasting notes were uh, from what we've read were vanilla, caramel, fr uh, some some toffee, some fruits, and some spice. So yeah, butterscotch there. Yeah. So um, that that sounds like a delicious tasting whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so so you guys know also, um, we didn't mention this. So this bottle is limited quantities. So I I believe that means each state kind of gets a little bit of yeah. pull from their what they produce. So if it is hard for you to find, that's the reason it is in limited quantities each year. But, you know, just look for it next year if you can't find it this year or you, you've talked to your liquor store and they can't get it yet for a while. You know, just keep that in mind when you go to purchase this. Yeah, and they, the cool thing, too, is they actually have a batch number Yeah, on here, um, which is kind of cool. So What was yours again? It was uh, 21C777. Okay. So, yeah, mine was uh, 20B... One six nine. So not sure exactly what the what all that means, but yeah. uh, you know, I imagine like, mine's a lower number, so it has to be uh, earlier. Uh, yeah, most likely batch. But um, well, you ready to try this? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. I've already been. Uh, See, Robert, Ro Robbie's already had this one, and I haven't. Yes, so. I. So this is. He's already. Gosh. He knows what to expect. It was end of last Ooh. year when I had it. It was 
probably a good idea to turn this thing upside down. Oh, that smells good. Um, so you guys know as well, we did talk about it last episode um, with Kelsey. If you have bottles of, that are corked yeah. and you haven't opened it yet, go ahead and turn it on its side. Um, so that way the cork doesn't break off. I noticed whenever I got this bottle um, earlier, um, the cork was just white with dry. So I turned it upside down for all day long. Um, so just uh, food yeah. out, keep that in mind as well. Yeah, definitely if you're noticing your your cork looks a little dry, a little white, um, let it lay on its side or tip it upside down for a little bit, let it soak. So. Did you, how many ounces did you do? I just put one and a half. Yeah, so. All, All right. right. Breathe. Breathe a little bit, get a little Oof. smell here. I really, I'm really loving the smell. Um, the smell is nice. It's got a, I got, I got the fruit. Yeah. Um, it's very sweet. Yeah, very and sweet. it smells, it's, honestly, it's, the smell is smooth before I even try, try the whiskey. I do get the fruit, and honestly, I, I'm thinking I'm getting the vanilla. I don't think it's caramel, but I think I'm getting a little bit of the vanilla smell. Yeah, definitely. But that fruity sweet smell is, you know, right there. Oh, oh, hey. Cheers. Cheers. And happy 4th of July, Happy 4th everybody. of July, everybody. Go celebrate with friends and family. And drink you know, responsibly, please. Have fun. Have fun, though. Cheers. Cheers. Smooth whiskey. Wow. <laughs> this thing is very smooth. Has, honestly, I get a lot of flavor. Yeah. It's a uh... sweet, sweet, and fruity. And I fruity. definitely, that's what I get. Sweet and fruity. Um, there's no, there's no burn really at all. No, at all. It's a, uh, it's a wonderful feeling in the mouth too. You get yeah. that kind of tingling, you know, that nice kind of yeah, it's smooth tingling kind of feeling. But like, uh, <clears throat> it goes down so smooth. It's just almost silky in a way. Maybe oily, silky. Yeah, silky. Um, Silky is a good word, honestly. I, I would uh, I would agree with that 100%. So, I went ahead and poured a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna do, that do some water droplets. Yeah. Can't wait for this. It's just more intense. Oh, yeah. All right. Cheers again. Cheers again. <laughs> So it, it goes down like water. It really does. There's yeah. no burn. No. It's has a really good flavor. Honestly, I I forgot how good this was. I knew it was good, but wow. it is good. It is good. I think uh, for you know the price point. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm expecting it to be this good. I would yeah. say. You know what yeah. I mean? I'd expect so. it to be <clears throat> at this top is quality, you know? Yeah. So, I no, mean, it's, I agree. it's got a, it's, for the price, it's right where it should be, I think, for sure. It's good. It's very good. The, it, I mean, it helps that it's a little lower percentage, maybe too. That's yeah. what, another reason it's really smooth, smooth and Honestly, a this good drink, taste, tasting whiskey. Excuse me. 
<clears throat> Being neat so far is perfect during the summertime, even. It's yeah, it's light enough, you know. It's not uh Yeah. You could drink this on a pretty warm day and be fine. Which some whiskeys you get, they just warm you up so much that you know it's a little bit more difficult to drink in summer sun. You know, I actually kind of liked it better without the water droplets. Kind of weird on this one. So I would agree. I feel like I get a little bit more sharpness to the flavor. Sharpness. Yeah. Um, with the water droplets, it's just so damn smooth. It really goes down so quick. Even letting it sit on my tongue. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it doesn't change it a ton, is what I really meant. I mean, <clears throat> a lot of times it makes a big drastic change, like in the smell. I think it did on the smell. It was definitely more, the smell was definitely more intense, but it wasn't like a totally different smell. It no, was, it wasn't. It was in more intensified, right? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like. Um, it didn't bring out any other like smells or anything. It just got stronger, the aroma of the, what we were already smelling, right? Yeah. That's, I don't know. That's how I was, what I was picking up, but uh, I think it's great. Yeah. I like it. All right, so with all that being said, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and give you my score. All right. You know, I may be a little high. I, I I don't know. Honestly, I think this whiskey is really good. I love it. I love the flavors. I love the sweetness, the smoothness. It's solid. I'm, I'm going to go with a 4.4. 4.4, 4. 4. yeah. And, um, you know, <laughs> The only thing I would want to lower it down to a little bit lower is the price, but I don't know. It's forty two ninety nine for me, so it's still right under that. It's right at forty six dollars for me. Yeah, tax, yeah. So no, I, I, it's a, it's a wonderful tasting whiskey. Um, it's got a lot of great like tasting notes in there that I like those types of like the caramel, the vanilla, the, the fruits, the, you know, the toffee and everything. Um, I would say for the price that kind of plays in my mind's more closer to 50 after taxes. Yeah. Um, and then the percentage is lower for me. So mm -hmm. the, of alcohol. So that kind of, that's another thing. Cause it's a little bit lower, so it's it's great. But I would say, for me, it would bring it to four point two. Okay. Based just based on that. Yeah. No. Honestly. Otherwise, was, it would be higher. You know. I was right around <clears throat> that four point two, four point four range. Um, I would honestly, I would definitely drop it down to that four point two, due to the price of being fifty dollars for you. Yeah, but since mine is still under fifty dollars, because we've had a whiskey whiskeys before where it's like once it hits that fifty dollars and it goes up, it's like you really mentally you're, you're looking at it differently. Yeah. Um, for me though, with it still being under fifty, I'm looking at, at it, but I can see where you come from. So I I'm not I, opposed I mean, to go down to four point two for the overall. And us. you know. Um, you got to drink a little bit more to get to, to feel it. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, you know what? For the blue collar whiskey drinkers, 4.2. Yeah. Yeah. So for I mean, my personal score, I'm going to keep it 4.4. Yeah. Um, God, it is a great, it is a great tasting whiskey and um, smooth. This is a great, like, uh, actually, kind of like what I read about it, it's um, a great kind of in, introduction whiskey for. For a new person to start, oh, it is like totally like anybody I, that's fresh to drinking whiskeys could drink this, yeah, and not be like, damn, like so, like it's right, like yeah, what? No, I agree. I'm I'm really curious what Michaela thinks because she loves the double oaked. That was like her. That's right. That's right. The double oaked was she great. She actually, but that again, that whiskey's fifty over fifty dollars for me. Yeah, for you, it was under fifty dollars. Yeah, um, yeah. 
It was but, 40. It was 40, man. It was 39 yeah. 99. So it's like, I'm really, I really hope she likes this one. Because if she does, then it's a little bit cheaper than that double oak for me. <laughs> so I've had the bourbon one of this. Yeah. Phenomenal. Really? I so really like we that. Gotta, one. We got to do that. We got to do the rye. I'm well, honestly sour mash. Rye, so they have a sour mash. <sighs> yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so before we go off on a tangent, yep. I'm thinking, let's uh, do you want to finish uh, with their specialty drink or do you want to make that the second drink tonight? Hmm, you got me thinking. You got me thinking. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and switch it up. We could do it uh, second. First. Yeah, or second. You know what? I think for this whiskey, it calls for an old fashioned at the end of the night for Fourth of July. Yeah. So it sounds about right. Yeah, old fashioned, you know? Yeah, man. Let's right. uh let's do let's, this. I what is it? The I carry I carried, water, I carried a watermelon. What kind of name is that? You gotta change that name. <laughs> so while we're making this drink, I'll come up with a name for it. So the the blue collar the blue collar whiskey hmm. name. Yes. All right. All right. So so you guys know, just a refresh. We gave it a four point two overall for blue collar whiskey drinkers. Um, please let us know what you think. How this tastes neat. We're gonna go make our. I carried a watermelon. All right, man. Let's do it. Hey everyone, blue collar whiskey drinkers, we're back with our. Uh, blue collar melon watermelon yeah blue collar melon. that's what we're gonna call it blue collar melon yeah. um but this is a drink that uh robbie was able to pull off of the michter's page and it was the only one they had for the american small batch or the Mer yeah american small american, batch whiskey but yeah um but it looks cool. I mean, I like yeah. the gar the garnish. I I think I, <laughs> I think I I, cool. I think I got a little big on mine. <laughs> yeah, I, but I got um, mine a little bit smaller. So yeah, it's it's you know it looks good. Um, yeah. It's easy to make. It's only Very so the, easy. the ingredients, guys. Are, it's it's uh, an ounce and a half of the whiskey. We got an ounce of uh, watermelon oh. juice, and then we got four ounces of uh, lemonade. So. And then you just shake. It says lightly shake. So you yeah. lightly shake it and then um, strain it, pour it, whatever, into ice. So pretty yeah. easy. Pretty easy. Honestly, drink. with how easy it is, you could probably make a pretty big batch of this. Oh, yeah. You can make a nice so, big batch. Easy. Um, I'm actually curious what it tastes like. Uh, Let's taste it. So, hey, cheers. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Got that watermelon in my face. <laughs> so good, it's good. Yeah. I like it. I like it. One thing I would do differently is go with like the zero sugar lemonade. Yeah. I just for me, I, I think that would be perfect with this. Um, um, it even helped bring out the whiskey flavor, I believe. Dude, take a bite of your watermelon. It was good. Oh, yeah. It's, yours is soaking a little bit, right? Yeah. Phenomenal. I'm going to actually just kind of stick that right there. Right. <laughs> Let that soak in there a little bit. <laughs> I got a little bit of, like, the whiskey flavor. You know what? Actually, before <laughs> I changed the lemonade... I think what I'm going to do next time is go ahead and bump up, like we talked about, to two ounces of whiskey. Get yeah, that why little not? Bit more whiskey in there. Um, honestly, it's good. Not a drink I would gravitate towards, but I would make a big batch of this at a get together or something. You know, honestly, we uh, we're going to be doing our slip and slide again this year at Emily Collins. I may make a picture of this crap. <laughs> of this so, crap <laughs> so of this stuff so but no, no seriously I'm, no it's good I'm do that um no it's a good it's a good one dude uh it it's uh it's light it's refreshing it's um 
the, got the watermelon in there is refreshing you know uh, i i do agree it is very refreshing and i the perfect summer drink this is yet another one i would i would go towards this one than the other ones we've done primarily because there's so many ingredients on the other ones <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the but trop, the this, trop, this and the tropical chilling are pretty good. Are easy, easy, um, yeah, and quick, quick, like, easy. The, the longest thing that took for me was cutting the watermelon and getting it to the right size for a wedge. Yeah, um, but if I'm going to make a pitcher of this, I'll just cut up the watermelon and like throw it at the bottom of the pitcher. Yeah, you can make a huge tub of this, like a big like. And for the first drink for the girls, I would make a wedge, but. After that, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, but I mean, I would make sure whenever I poured it, I would get a little chunk of watermelon and throw it at the bottom, so that way, who's ever drinking it could eat that at the end. Yeah, you know what? Would... I would have loved to do that. I, I would have loved to have a, like a, a piece of watermelon sitting at the bottom. Yes, and then you eat it at the end. Be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be nice. And so so it... I'll probably yeah, coming up with good ideas for this summer. So um, all right, what I mean, I'm. I don't know. This drink's. Uh, I mean, I like it. Yeah. Has kind of a weird aftertaste. What do you think? No, I was about. To I, th say. I think that's the watermelon. You know, it's either the watermelon or the lemonade trying to come through. Trying to poke through the, or trying to get through the the watermelon. Yeah, because honestly, the watermelon I could taste it. I don't. I could hardly taste the lemonade, so I'm almost wondering if that's the lemonade. Yeah, maybe. Um, again, I think two ounces of whiskey make it a little bit better. Yeah, if you were to change it, yeah, you could make it just like all our drinks. We could change a little, couple things, little tweaks uh, for the the. Honestly, just add more whiskey. <laughs> That's all for you the, need to do. Yeah, for the specialty cocktails. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and rate this guy, this drink. I think it's... Mm, I think it's a. I think it's like a four. <laughs> We're fucking too much away. I wrote down a four already. But yeah, I agree. It's a, it's a four. It, it's good. I will make this drink. Uh, for everybody um it's a four because it's easy dude it's so easy I'm, I'm really curious though how this will taste with a different whiskey because like i said i want to try to make this as a in a bigger batch and i don't want to waste a good this good american whiskey on a big batch Fuck no that. i'll, I'll go no. get something else because honestly this whiskey's good and it's $42, for me, so. Throw some, uh, that would I'll be a good one. Old Forester. Yeah. Why not? So, I'll, I'll, I'll experiment. I'll let you I'll be some bold. Of. Old Forester has some bold flavors. Well, though, you need to do the 86 proof one. Oh. The one I've been, the one I've been getting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I haven't had that one. It's only I think bucks. I may, it's the same as 100 proof. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, but no, I haven't had that one. I'm not gonna lie, it's good. You know, I may have it in my younger days, and I just don't remember. I because I kind of know that I've had some of those before. Yeah, like some of the foresters, but uh, it was a long time ago. We, I know we talked about it briefly, but I think the next verses we do. Needs to be the old Forester 86 proof versus like a wild turkey in the same category. Just kind yeah, because wild back. wild turkey does have its a, uh, just a straight up. Uh, but, dude, I've been finding old Forester all over the place. They have so many different whiskeys out there. So it many. It's crazy. Same it's with like, wild turkey. So many. So my liquor store here where I'm at, I think they have four maybe five different old foresters and then the with uh, the liquor store the bigger bigger one in Benville that one had like six and they were even uh three of them were different from the ones here yeah so it was like son of a bitch 
there's a lot of lot of old forester out there and well, yeah it's funny we never i've never had it up until the bonded and then i tried the 86 proof and it's like this is kind of my go-to whiskey for 20 bucks like if i'm in a hurry going somewhere well, does that one taste um anything like the hunter proof no totally different it's better oh you like it better than the hunter proof oh yes Oh, wow. I will grab that. I'll, again, I will look at all the $20 bottles. I'll grab that over Crown. You got me curious because that's like, because that was a good one. Yeah, no, uh, Old Forester 100. Like, I'll get that again, but I would get the 86 over. There's something about it that doesn't, I can't remember. I would like to try them together and figure out what it is, but I think it's, the aftertaste on the bonded mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah oh yeah all right well we agreed on 4.0 for <laughs> blue collar melon and uh you that, know, was cool. it, that was quick it, yeah it was it, and it went down good it's empty for me i'm actually gonna eat my watermelon real quick so, so we'll be doing it on ice next uh, seeing how it tastes just on the rocks. Uh, I think it's it's going to be, I think it might get too smooth, like too kind of water, like maybe, you know, like washed out, maybe. Okay, so that, that's, that's going to be your prediction for uh, on the rocks. I think it's going to be really good, mm -hmm. but I think it might kind of get I, I want to play devil's advocate and go well you've uh, had it before so I, but I've never done it on the rocks okay so all right I'm I would I, I want to go devil's advocate but I know it's going to really bring out the flavors and the alcohol but I could just see it not being as good as the meat I think the meat is top tier for me um have you had it, it an old-fashioned i can't remember if colin and i made it as an old-fashioned so if you did it's not you don't remember it's not that good yeah i don't think we did because i got a bottle we all had like i poured a glass for everybody that was there and we all drank it that night and i don't think we had a chance to try it any other way because it was gone <laughs> so, uh, like, damn, gone. So I, I, I don't think we did. I really don't because yeah. I'm thinking back to last year when we were living with Emily and Colin, and uh, I would remember that because I do like this bottle a lot, even if the old fashioned was bad. I, I'm gonna say eating eating the garnish. Is better than the drink. I agree. I'm gonna tell you I, right now. Like, I like this soaked in the in the drink better than the drink. That's kind of weird, right? I, I I give the watermelon <laughs> a four point eight. <laughs> like it, it it's it's, it's phenomenal. juicy. I was it's good. I mean, you know what? You got me. I, you got a. Truth? Screw this drink. I'm just going to get a watermelon, yeah. drill a hole, and pour a bottle of whiskey in there. <laughs> Dude, but seriously, though, we should, before we put the liquids in this drink, you should put like a nice, nice, yeah, no, big, do that like thick piece of uh, watermelon down at the bottom. Oh, and you get this to finish your drink, you get to eat that. That'd be so good. Actually, what I, I will do. Pour the alcohol on it first. Yes. Like just right onto it. <laughs> I'll do so I'll do the ounce and a half in the shake. And mm -hmm. then I'll pour an ounce at the bottom on right on top of that watermelon. Or an ounce, half an ounce. Just right on top. But that's yeah. so good. But what I was gonna say, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a good watermelon and use a ice cream scooper to get a nice little oh a nice balls. that'd be perfect that'd be perfect and just set that at the bottom 
perfect idea, dude. The ice so, cube, ice uh, watermelon ice cube, like like, like a, a scooper. Yep. Yeah. Ice cream scooper. With a little bit of ice on top and mm -hmm. pour away. I'm going to do that. All right. Well, well yeah. everybody, I'm um, going to go back through it real quick. Uh, we scored it 4.2 on neat and a 4.0 on the blue collar melon. This is the specialty drink for uh, Michter's. And uh, now we're going to be getting into On the Rocks, and we're going to finish tonight with an old fashioned, and we will be shaking the old fashioned tonight. So keep that yeah. in mind. And a uh, quick question before we leave it, buddy do you want to garnish with a cherry or just leave it with a, the orange peel? On this one, since it's a lighter proof, I think we should. Yeah, I was with you there. Perfect. Yep. All right, let's All right, bro. see how it is on the rocks. We'll be back. Hey, everybody, we're back. We just poured our uh, whiskey on the rock. I'm going to say rock because it's only one cube. One uh, big or, sphere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or ice ball. So, yeah, I did about two ounces, and um, Cody did about an ounce and a half. Yeah. But um, as you can see there, has a great color to the whiskey. And Wow. It's got a great caramel flavor, like you were just saying. Uh, smell. So is it caramel or caramel? Caramel. Okay, don't be weird. Say caramel, not caramel. Caramel. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, the caramel really comes out on the hot rocks. Yeah, it smells delicious. And it's still sweet. So, hey, Very cheers. Sweet. Cheers, man. Try it. I'm afraid you were right. <laughs> I was like, not going to say nothing. Um, yeah, no, um, it's good. It's very smooth, everybody. Um, the smell is phenomenal, I would say. The smell's better than um, what it tastes neat. like. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. <sighs> On the rocks, it's it's just smooth. Like, or it just goes down so easy. There's not too much flavor. The flavor is mediocre. I'll say that. On the rocks. There, there's not much of it. It's just, it just goes down easy. So easy. Yeah, it's uh, it's it, it's good. It's a, little, it's a little different than what we've had on yeah. the ice. It's not the typical you get the you know <clears throat> a lot of the whiskeys we've had lately. You get that real oaky, uh, wood, uh, you know, a little yeah, bit you, of vanilla coming you in. Get some, I would even like the. But this is like a little different from that. Yeah. I wish even the caramel came through on the taste, but yeah. it doesn't to me. Um, I get it on the smell. I'm not too sure what I'm getting on the taste. So, uh, hey, quick question. Did you ever uh, watch the series Invincible? Yes, did? I did. I did. After you awesome, talked awesome. about it. Uh, what do you think about it? I think it's the cart. It's like a cartoon version of uh, the the boys. Oh yeah, the boys. Uh, but but it's like because like I almost see the dad like uh, as uh, God. What's his name? From the boys. Homelander. Of Homelander. He kind of yeah, reminds yeah. me of Homelander in a way because Homelander. Has that same kind of like powers and like, yeah, same strength abilities. and abilities. He doesn't shoot lasers from his eyes, but um, shit that we know of that we Everything know of. Else, golly. But dude, okay. that that battle between him. Okay, and hold on, hold on. Spoiler alert, everybody! If you haven't watched this series, Invincible on yeah. Amazon, spoiler turn away for a little while, for a little bit, and come back. But uh, starting now. Yeah, no, 
battle. Holy shit! At the end of the series, even no, the, no, I'm talking about when he kills all the. Uh, oh yeah. The uh, what's the, their name? The uh, the global the, Guardian. the guardians yeah. of the globe, guardians of yeah, the globe. Globe. Yeah. Um, he fucking he, he wrecks them. Well, he gets his ass. He almost he gets put. He gets. <laughs> he, gets he gets his ass kicked. He, he does get beat up. Um, the way he crushes that guy's head, it reminded me when uh, the mountain on Game of yes. Thrones crushed that one guy's head. Yeah, it was like the same thing, but like in cartoon. Although the mountain pushed his eyes in and then crushed his head, it was the yeah. opposite. It was like his eyes popped out and then crushed it was pretty gnarly but it was a cartoon so not as like i mean still gory for uh definitely oh for, man for a cartoon well what did you think of him shoving holding his kid's head through the train oh as he just demolishing everybody inside that um, was just fucking brutal man brutal I mean the whole the whole series season uh, is pretty brutal. Oh, it is. Um, but that was like that was for me when I was like, damn, because him fighting the other superheroes, it was at what the first episode, and it was just was it the first episode, first no. or second episode? He fought with them on the first episode, like they were buddy buddy. But I want to say it was at the end of the first episode. But I don't know. I I, I want to watch it again. Maybe um, it was. Maybe it was. I don't know. Either it, they're, way, they're forty minutes long. Everybody, if you haven't seen it still and you're still listening, I think it's talk eight, about it. It's like eight episodes. Right? Yeah, it's short, but I'm excited for the next one or do the next have, series. Do they have another? Do they, they have a plan. They have a plan. Yeah. So Invincible is. I'm pretty sure it got received very well. Every like I was, I went and watched all the videos on YouTube about it afterwards, and yeah, everybody loves it. And they were do they were talking about the same shit about. You it. know what's funny? Um, Invincible is Sam, or is it Sam? No, from The Walking Dead. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, Maggie's boyfriend, um, isn't he? Her husband. Yeah. Glenn. Glenn. Glenn on. I don't know his name in real life. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Glenn from The Walking Dead, like the character from Walking Dead, Glenn. He is the voice over That's for cool. Invincible, the kid. So, um, what did about? you think about Invincible, the kid? Little I bitch, mean, right? <laughs> I wouldn't he say, just gets his ass kicked by he's, everyone. He's yeah, he he does get his. I mean, he always gets his butt kicked. Let's just say that um, he barely ever is like. Like the robot dude. I don't get why he even struggled with that guy. I know. He got whooped almost by that guy. Yeah. And um, then the tiger was like the second worst beating he got behind his dad. And that tiger guy, dude, he might be able to put his dad and run for his money. He, I, he busted, I would like to see. He busted up all those heroes. Like he, yeah. he was no joke. He was just like, psh, psh, psh. Yeah, he wasn't even phased. No, he, he was wasn't. Just like, really? And, you know, uh, the Guardians of the Globe kind of beat him down a bit, almost put him in the hospital, almost killed him. So, But how much, so after listening to some of the videos, how much do you think of that was him playing that to make, because he didn't want people to know he killed them. It's true. It's true. It's a good point. And it, um, he made it. He really made it seem like for a little bit, you know, that he could have had his mind taken over or whatever. Because I was even like, okay, did well, yeah, like I didn't. Him? Yeah, I didn't think it was him. Um, for for the while, and then I started. You start seeing signs of his kind of evilness. Yeah. So for the. 
Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Is it my turn? Uh, yep. All right. Yeah. On the rocks, I'm going for at the very tip of the top, 4.0. Yeah, I mean, very tippity top. Like, yeah, I, I was bouncing around with it when we were kind of talking about invincible, like, you know, forgot about it with uh, when you brought up Breaking Bad, but I was kind of wanting to go back down to three point eight, but I was like, it's not terrible. It's just not as good as what I expected. So that's why I left it at the four point zero. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was kind of like three point six in my mind. Okay, so three point eight, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, but I wasn't. That was at the very bottom. Low. Yeah. The very so, bottom. But that, that's and good, I could, though. We could meet in the middle at a three point eight. <clears> I, I feel like it is. That. You know, like it is. It's not bad. It's it's a super good drink all the way around so far. And a great whiskey. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, we've had better ones, but um, I'm just saying at the price range that it's at. Yeah, it just... <clears throat> like, Jefferson, this is better than Jefferson, and Jefferson was high. Yeah, I would... Uh, for sure. I would agree with the statement, this is a good whiskey for a beginner, because I would yeah. almost serve this to somebody on the rocks to see what they think. And then I would serve it to a neat. I think they'd be surprised and neat. Like I think, but that's why I would say they one. would. I think they would get it on the rocks, and they're like, "Okay, this is very smooth. Like I haven't had a whiskey like this." Then I'm like, "Okay, let me pour you this." Set, slide it over. Then they actually get to taste the different flavors and everything that yeah. I love about neat. I think it'd be a game changer. I, they would. Personally, I think Mikhail would like it. I may present it to her that way. <laughs> On the rocks and then neat. Yeah. Yeah. I think Michaela, I'm going to take a wild guess. This is not going to be her thing just based on if she likes the double oak. Because the double oak has so much more flavor. I mean, um, like different flavor. Different flavor, yes. Than this. I would... Um, but I would drink this neat over the double oak neat. But on the I, rocks, the double oak kind of kicked this ass. Yeah, I like the double oak more than this one. But um, even neat. Yeah, even neat. Yeah, just I like that bold flavor it has. This is good. This is great neat. Uh, the. Uh, the double oak that was something different, you know what I mean? It's like it's it was a different uh, well, it kind is a of different worse. category. We uh, looking back, we gave that a four point two neat and a four point zero. So I would agree, though. Looking back, the double oak was better. So I, I'm going to stick with the 3.8 overall for us. Um, but I, honestly, I I would drink this neat over the double oak any day, personally. Yeah, and I'm, I'm the opposite. I, I like the uh, bolder flavors of the the double oak. So, all right. So we got old fashioned left. What are your predictions, real quick? It'll be good. It, it'll be it'll, it'll be good. I don't think it's gonna blow me away because it doesn't have that spice. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit, but it doesn't have that you know that like uh, the high west spice. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't have that. Uh, even the God, what was it just recently? Even the uh, the one. Yeah, 
The Dickle, yeah, the Dickle had a, a good amount of spice, a good amount of mixture. That one was a lot of different flavors. Remember that? It, had a it just got of, it got too much for me. Had a lot of different flavors going on. It was a good whiskey. I mean, twenty two dollars. No, it, it was a solid one. But uh, yeah, it was. But um, um, what was be- what did we do before with uh, Dickel? It was it oh, Blood was... Slinger, Fighting Spirit. Oh, God, that yeah, was that was good. great. That was yeah. great. Lead Slinger was a solid. Uh... That one was top notch. Yeah, that um, was. I will say this. Since we, with the bitters and the orange peel, I think the fruit and fruitiness on this whiskey is really going to kind of stand out and make a good old fashioned. Yeah, we're not going to get the spice that we're kind of used to and we, we do like with an old fashioned. I think we're going to get yeah. a different yeah. unique flavor of its own. And I'm actually happy that this is in a different category. This is something we do have to remember. It is a th- at the 3.2 instead of a 3.3. And it's not technically a bourbon. It's not technically a rye. It's a American whiskey. And whiskey. So we, we do have to continue to keep this in mind. But I agree with uh, On the Rocks. It, I, I'm not going to drink this one on the rocks. I'm going to go for neat. I love it neat. And I agree. I, all righty, we're back with our old fashions. You can see the great color on these drinks. Um, mm. Mine has a really nice gold color to it. Yeah, it's got a. I was noticing that whenever I poured it. Fantastic aroma too. I was yes. It. Uh, when I was sitting here waiting, I was like, oh, let me smell. Honestly, mm. the orange is not overpowering because that's what we had with the George Dickel, um, the orange the citrus smell just overpowered it so we didn't get much of the whiskey yeah this honestly i think i'm getting a lot of whiskey flavor coming out of it well i don't know about you but my orange definitely wasn't as good as last week um my actual Um, orange it's like my orange tree i have they're getting a little old it's still a good orange peel but it doesn't have as much juice as it normally does yeah so honestly looking at it you know, I went through, I felt a bunch of the oranges, and I picked the best ones. And honestly, this one produced a really good flame, so it still had a lot of juices inside. So I was actually pretty surprised with that. Nice. So Well, well let's try it. Yeah. Hey, cheers. And again, cheers. happy 4th of July. Happy 4th. Uh, everybody, celebrate. Shoot off fireworks. Don't blow yourself up. And, yeah. you know celebrate our independence our freedom what makes our country the best yeah the american proud for fourth of july yeah and cheers cheers so uh is there whiskey in this okay <laughs> how you feel. I mean, I mean, it's good. God, where did my yeah, whiskey? I... Where did my whiskey go, Robbie? It's not a bad thing, though. But it's, it's a good and so bad. You, hold on, hold on. Are you not getting any whiskey flavor? No, I get, I get it at the end. Okay, so I'm getting whiskey flavor. I, I really am like I'm getting like I could taste the bitters I could taste a little bit of the simple but there's definitely a whiskey flavor and it's a fruity flavor and it's not a citrus so I'm definitely well, getting a nice good sweetness to it oh, this yeah. is a very sweet old fashioned and it's not sweet from simple yeah. because I did <clears throat> I you use pick, that. Sweet uh, is the perfect word. You got the, you nailed it there. It's, it's a sweet, very, I mean, I do taste the whiskey, but it's, a, you know, it's, it's got that sweet through it. Uh, that's kind of uh, muddling not, it, but so it's. You're not getting the spice you like. 
Which I agree because I love the spice with like the yes, wine. but I do like this. Yeah, um, a lot. It's still, you know, it's it's a uh, still got a little bit of whiskey. It's got that nice sweet uh, throughout, like you said, and uh, it, it it's got the fruits. Yes, you do get it that definitely fruit. Had, because it's not the orange fruit that I'm tasting. And I'm not even, like, I could smell it, but it's not dominating like it was before. So I think the fruitiness of this drink, of this whiskey, really just uh, comes through with the old fashioned and the citrus. I think all the combination of everything really made that pop in a sense. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, as you drink it, though, let me know if you get the same thing. I'm definitely getting more whiskey flavor as I drink it. And I'm almost done compared. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like done. Uh, Yeah, you know what I'm noticing more uh, of the whiskey sitting at the end of at the finish. At the finish. Yes. Um, which is nice. You get yeah. it kind of sitting on the back of your tongue, that whiskey it's, flavor, it's along different. with the fruit kind of sm- like blending in with it. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice one to make with an it's, old fashioned because it's a little it's bit different. different. Yeah. Um, it's more, so, more mild. I, um, I will say this. I am conflicted. Yeah, because I know we both like the spice. Yeah, we both like, you the know, the lead slinger made a phenomenal old fashion along with American Prairie. <clears throat> and, you know, it's been so long since Legion. I would love to do Legion again and really just... We are going to do it when we go to... I'm gonna go to Utah. Yeah. See, finishing it right there, that whiskey definitely sits nice. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Honestly, even shaken, it's great. I'm just curious. I'm gonna stir it tomorrow and really just kind of see how I like it. Uh, because, you know, we did that with, uh, well, was it Old Granddad and uh, Evan Williams? We went back and kind of tried the different We shake it. We, we, stir, we stirred it first. And first, we shake and it. shook it. But there wasn't much of a change. I, For some reason with this one, I think there will be a, that slight change that would push it over the top to be that much better. Um. Just with how sweet it is. It is a very sweet old fashioned. Yeah. It's a good, it's a, it's a, you know, it's different than what I'm used, used to, to really liking. Yeah. Uh, no, I like I it. I like, I like it though. I mean, so, so I'll go ahead and rate this one. Um, I'm leaning at it. Uh, I'm so torn. Uh, I like. I like it. I think it's. I think it's great. It's a little different from what I'm used to. I like the spices. This is more sweet. Uh, it's got. It does have you know the whiskey taste towards the end yeah. of the finish, and it's a nice little bit of a change so i think this is kind of uh where like the spicy uh whiskeys or more of like a i would oh, say I... More, yeah well but i would say more like fall winter weather mm-hmm. this is kind of more leaning towards yeah it could be a summer spring you summer spring yeah. summer you could drink this it's all right um <clears throat> so I'd drink it anytime, but you know, 
No, I agree with your no, that's perfect. Um, I would want the spice more during fall, summertime, or summer, fall, winter time. Yeah. Uh, I just pretty much gave it a basic four. Kind of going through my mind on all the old fashions we've had from primarily Legion American prairie and lead slinger and you know with the spice i still think the american prairie was like the best old-fashioned yeah for sure lead slinger was really fucking phenomenal lead slinger was a 4.2 yes and so but for me that's why I was like, I was struggling because this is different. I enjoy it. I like the finish. The finish is a good whiskey flavor at the end. Um, the orange peel did not overpower. So what do you want to say? Sorry, I was I was no, like, go ahead. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about our score on the uh, Woodford. Do you remember what that was? 4.5 dude <laughs> it was really good you know what and that was the old fashioned that Michaela fell in love with it, it's it's that that's that's why that drink was that that uh that old fashioned set that drink off the top that was its highest score yeah because it brought it back yeah that I remember that now the yeah. double oaked was dude the Devil Oak was a solid old fashioned. It was close to the prairie. I remember now. Yeah. It was like yeah. right up there with the prairie. So I would love to do an episode of with the Legion, with the American Prairie, and the Double Oak with an old fashioned. I would be curious which one is actually better in our opinion. And I'm leaning towards that American Prairie because every time I taste an old fashioned, I think of that right off the bat. I don't think of Legion. I don't think of Double Oaked. So, you know, I'm quite a bit higher than you on the old fashioned. I was kind of wanting to go to the 4.4 range, but the reason why I settled with a 4.2 was this is its own, it's in a different category. This is what I wanted to say. And we don't have any whiskeys to judge in this category. We have zero. That, There's none in this category. Why, so that's so why that's why this like, is hard for us. This is hard for us because we don't have any other well, like um in this set category that and yes. again this category is a 3.2. Uh you guys can check it out on our Instagram. Look at which the 3.2 is um 40% to 44% alcohol, 35 to $50. $50. $50. So it's in the same price range as like a Legion or the American Prairie, but the alcohol, with percentage, the alcohol is percentage, it knocks it down to that 3.2 instead of being in the 3.3. Yeah, exactly. It's only 41.7. Yes. Allegiance is like a 47. Legion's 47, so... Um. Yep. Damn, you nailed it. But anyways, so... I didn't want to score it too high because of that reason, but at the same time, it's so hard not to compare it to those other whiskeys we've had. Those phenomenal whiskeys. It, it really is. I mean, we can. It's just... It's, it's just... Um, not fair. It's a little... It's a little unfair, but um, and that's why it's a little harder for us to judge this one. Just for me personally, I don't know about you. Yeah. It's just uh, no. That's why. Like honestly, if it wasn't for those other ones and being in a different ca or or being in a different category, I would give it a four point four. I think it is that good. I think it can contend. I don't think it is as good, but it's right there. It's because it is different. But I th think, yeah, yeah. I think I think you're you're right on that. 
but uh, that's why I went down to the 4.2 because in realistic I was thinking blue collar what we would kind of do or think about it and I wrote I thought I was thinking all this before you even said it that I think 4.2 is personally solid for this whiskey and or for this for this old fashioned personally I, I know you gave it a 4.0 me on this one I would rave about this one. I personally like the neat on this one. And oh wait, on the neat? I think I gave it a four point two. Did I? I think we yeah. You, yeah, we gave we, it a four point two. We, we settled on the four point two. No, and I was totally in agreement with that. Yeah, and I and no, I was too. But I would even just like look personally four point four, but you know for blue collar whiskey, it's it's a solid four point two. I personally just need this whiskey's top notch. It, it is up there with some of the best. Yeah. That we've had so far. Four point uh four point two for the uh excuse me for the um old fashioned I think is a good settle. I mean it was It was good. It was good. And and I did like it the more I had it. The first few sip, I was like, eh. I wasn't getting that whiskey. But then after yeah. I had it a few more times, I was like, okay, the end, the end was the end was a 4.2. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So what so what do we add overall? Yeah, so Robbie, we, we uh, ended up scoring uh, overall uh, at a four point one, um, okay. and a four point one. That's that's with the three normal cocktails: the Aunt Neat, Old Fashioned uh, on Ice, and then if you add the specialty cocktail in there, it was pretty much still at a four point one. So it didn't really change much. Um, so overall, it's a solid 4.1. Uh, for the 3.2 category. For the 3.2 category, so, which again, I'm going to say it's going to be hard for a lot of, in that category itself, it's going to be hard for whiskeys to beat well, that. I will say this. Let's do some more whiskeys in this price range and come back and revisit this whiskey. Oh yeah, because this may kind of bump up a little bit, yeah. or it could go down. Um, we may come across some other whiskeys that we're like, eh, we we were smoking crack on Mictors. Yeah, but I, I I personally think I enjoy the flavor on the meat so much that I think it may go up slightly. But that's just my prediction for the future. We got a long time to go before there. So I I I, I agree with the four point one. Yeah. For now, I mean it's uh such a new category for us. Um but Mictors, man. I've had two of them so far. Solid. Great great uh two two great whiskeys so far that i've had the bourbon well, and the american whiskey that i've had i can't wait to try the rye wow what a what a solid whiskey all the way around no it is mictors uh i can't wait to try more of what you produce uh please uh keep producing good whiskeys you, yeah you know Continue producing great whiskeys, and you know what? We will be doing your bourbon and a rye coming up. So, you know, look forward to that. But hey, again, everybody, this is our 4th of July episode. Yeah. So, you know, if you may have missed or you were doing something, this whiskey, the Mictors, does have strong ties to 
the Revolutionary War and America becoming a great nation that you all love and enjoy to this day. So, you know, go out, buy a bottle, let us know what you think. And you know what? Have fun this 4th of July weekend and we'll see you on the next episode. Yeah, we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for joining us for this 4th of July special episode.